Hello awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm taking a look at the next short story in this giant 700 plus page 39 page short story collection that was collected by Ursula K. Le Guin herself of some of her science fiction stuff and some of her non-science fiction stuff called The Real and The Unreal for you folks. And we're taking a look at the next short story. This is the one after the 45 page, uh, The Matter of Segre that I just read a couple days ago. Loved uh, and such and it was great and really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and so forth. And this is the next one. It's the 31 page short story called Solitude. Uh, it's also set uh, in the same universe for folks. And uh, it has uh, basically what's happening uh, in it uh, is, is that we are set on a, uh, on a, on a, bra on a planet that's, that was newly discovered uh, in a new area uh, for folks. And um, they have sent some folks that have gone there because there's, there's some humanoids there with their own humanoid culture and such. And so they are arriving there. Uh, and basically what's happening is, is that the, the framing device, if you will, is that the daughter of somebody who went there and explored and settled and such for a few years as an observer um, also went with her too because she was already been born and her brother too, uh, younger brother. So, so the three of them are there. And she, uh, the daughter, is our primary point of view character. She just read uh, the review and the report uh, that her mother gave her uh, and such and it basically, she basically says i don't know whether my brother was happy with me or sat up with me and my decisions that i made but i was always proud of her um and so now now because she's read that report of her mother she's now more inspired for her to write and talk about her own report and so this is basically uh, the daughters uh, basically what's happening uh, in the 31 pages uh, in her adventures on this newly uh, discovered planet that has uh, humans there and uh, a society and such so it's set, again, set in the same universe as some of the other things we've been reading, including uh, The Matter of Sagri uh, and such, and Left-Handed Darkness, some of her classics like that uh, and such, right? So basically, so so basically, what's the so that's the basic core story. Again, I keep my reviews spoiler free, uh, but basically, what's happening here uh, is that um, because uh, the, her, her mother was basically most of her uh, most of her life was off world, and the daughter's life most of her life has been on world because she was very very young when she was brought here. Barely remembers anything. Um, she uh, is basically acculturated uh, to the, to the world, kind of like a. Uh, uh, you know, uh, kind of like America or some other places too, right? When 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 immigrants immigrate to a new country, right? The mother or the father or the parents will stay in of their own culture. They're speaking of their own language, right? Right? They're staying in their culture, and, and the first you know, generations of students, even if they were born abroad, that have just now been brought there very very young, oftentimes are shorter than the next one, right? We're sort of between two generations, if you will, right? And so forth. Um, the, the folks uh, and that she's an observer of are much more or less cultured and such. Uh, for example, there's an ant group that they live with. There's also a boy group uh, and such. Um, and and so, the, so the men and women live very very separate lives and that sort of a thing. So it's it's very very you know fun and stuff. Uh, but my main point here uh, is is that even though this is a nicer short story length than 31 pages long to write, so you would think that there would be plenty of time. Uh, I just feel like there's a lot description not a whole lot of plot that actually happens here and such uh, and while it is Ursula K. Le Guin right uh, and such and you know who she is she's a major major name in science fiction and fantasy uh, but she's still I just don't uh, you know it took me like four or five pages for me to start this short story I started it two days ago and four or five pages and I just I just wasn't feeling it so I stopped it and put it down and then last night I also started it again uh, and then I did the same I, but it took me about four or five pages to get into it but I actually was like you know I finish it uh, and so forth so it's not like the most gripping of stories right and although it does have something to say about immigration right it, is, it doesn't have as much conversations pieces this is a previous short story uh, the matter of Sagri right uh, so it's you know you know uh, so, so I, I just don't think, think it has her really at her at her peak and such. So, so I'm not giving this as, as big a thing as you might expect from somebody who has as many Hugo Awards as her, and, right? Uh, and so this is probably more of a six. It was hard to get into it. I had to start it twice. Uh, it's I don't I, I think it's way too much description. Not enough conversations and and plot and things that are happening, right? Um, and such. Uh, and so, so that's kind of kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, so forth, getting my key my response. Right now, reminder: Ursula K. Le Guin is a big, big name. Uh, I picked up this collection because I wanted to read the short story that heavily influenced the Strange New Worlds in Star Trek episode number one in the first season. Rather, I am I had heard that this was heavily in, involved and it was heavily based on it, but I'd never heard of it before. So I picked up this collection. It's like, well, 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 I've got it. You know, might as well read it, right? I've always liked Ursula K. Le Guin. You know her. Wizard of Mercy series is sort of the first, the, the young adult uh, 
fantasy stuff is definitely basically the first time where we see this young um, in Ged, uh, this young uh, guy who's growing up and has great wizard powers. Is brought into a wizarding school, and so forth, just like Harry Potter and other things later on that would definitely, definitely sort of uh, solidify and definitely turn into huge classics, right? She created that, right? So, uh, she, she's a heavily, heavily uh, written person, and she's gotten tons and tons of Hugo Awards, too. So, there, that's Ursula K. Le Guin, hugely label, stuff. So, I figured while I had the collection, let's go ahead and read it for you, folks. Uh, so, there, that's the 31 page short story, Solitude by Ursula K. Le Guin. So, have you read it? If so, what do you think about it? Did you agree or disagree with my 6 out of 10? If so, let's talk about it. If you enjoyed this review, why not hit that subscribe button? Because there's going to be a lot more of these uh, to follow. Uh, the titles channel, uh, this YouTube channel, is The Worst Thing About New Books, which is a quote by a French philosopher, Jacques Joubert, who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones. Right, and this, all, most of our secular going stuff was written decades ago, right? So I think it's definitely a key part of my, my sort of delving into some of these lost classics or big names that you, of, of authors that you may never have read or other, some of their other works, right? And such. So I think it's cool. And sort of passion for channel comes from that. So finally, I just want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives. And we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me that's incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.